Good morning, Mrs. Smith. Why are you here today? What's wrong? Well, actually, I haven't been feeling well these days, doctor. I feel sick. I see. All right, then. You can tell me what's wrong. Well, I don't know exactly what's wrong with me, but I've had fever for five days. Five days of fever doesn't sound good. How did it start the first day? I was working normally the last Monday and then I got a little dizzy while I was at the office. It was on Monday. Okay. What did you do the day before Monday? On Sunday. I was at home all day. Well, at night, I went to a party. It was my cousin's birthday. And what did you eat during this party? Anything that could hurt you. Well, they prepared a special food for that day. I think it was Thai food. Have you had Thai food before or it was the first time you ate that? I have eaten Thai food a lot of times before and nothing happened. I like it. All right. Anyway, we need to check all the possible options here, you know. Sure, doctor. But I don't think the food made me sick. I didn't feel bad. We'll see. Did you have a stomachache that day or the next day? That day at night, nothing happened. But the next day I woke up with a stomachache. On a scale of 1 to 10, being 1 not any pain and 10 a lot of pain, how much did it hurt? I suppose it was at 2 in the morning when I woke up but it was seven in the afternoon. Okay. I also need to know. Did you drink any beer or any kind of alcohol at the party? I don't drink alcohol, doctor. I haven't drunk it since I was diagnosed with fatty liver. Oh, you have a fatty liver. When exactly were you diagnosed with that condition? It was two years ago. I went to the hospital because of a pain on my stomach. I get it. It's important to know that. Any other illness we need to know? Well, last year I broke my leg while I was driving my car. I had an accident. Wow. That's terrible, Mrs. Smith. I'm really sorry about that. Thank you, doctor. But that's okay. It was not very serious. Happily. I can see. That's why you're walking normally. I supposed it wasn't. Yes. I had to use a cast on my leg, but just for three months. That was terrible. I suppose so. Well, going back to last Sunday. Did anything else happen? No, doctor. I think that's all. I arrived home late that day and fall asleep. All right. What prescription and non-prescription medications do you take? Well, I don't usually take any pills. Just some painkillers when I have any pain. I need to know exactly what kind of painkillers do you take. It's important. I don't remember the name of it very well, but I think it is no pain more pills. Okay. What allergies do you have? Are you allergic to anything? I don't think so. 
I have never had any problems with any food or drinks. All right, but are you allergic to any medication? Any pills? No, doctor. I'm not allergic to any pills or medication. I can take them all. Great. Have you had any operation before for any reason? No. I've never been operated for any reason. Happily. That must be horrible. It can be, sometimes. What do you do for a living, Mrs. Smith? I am a manager in the biggest restaurant of the city. Maybe you know that. You mean the Tast restaurant that is in the center of the city? The Chinese one? Yes. That one. I work there from Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. I see. And do you eat there or you take food from your home to work? I usually cook at home and take it to my work, but sometimes I have to eat in the restaurant. Have you eaten the food from the restaurant these days? Before you got sick? No. The last time I ate there was three weeks ago and it was a salad. Nothing fatty. I see. Do you smoke, Mrs. Smith? If so, how often do you do it? I don't smoke very often. Probably once or twice a month and that's it. Do you feel pain in your throat? I mean, do you have a sore throat? I little yes. I feel a little pain on my throat. But it always happens to me. What do you mean it always happens to you? Do you usually feel pain on the throat? Well, I've suffered from this since I was a child or since I can remember. I see. I can see you're sneezing, Mrs. Smith. Why is that? It usually happens when I feel pain on my throat. I sneeze and cough a little. Since when are you sneezing and coughing? Did it start the same day? Yeah. To be honest. I always sneeze and cough, but just a little. It's not a big deal. I know it doesn't seem serious, but we need to check all the options as I already told you. Okay, doctor. But I thought it was normal since I've had this problem for years. Well, we'll need to do some exams to see if that is the problem or there's something else. Okay, doctor. But do you think it can be serious? I need to come back to work. I don't recommend you to do that. You'd better go home and rest a little for today. What? Wow. Is it that serious, then? I mean, I've been working like this. Look, I'm not sure, but I'm afraid you could have pharyngitis. I suspect so. Pharyngitis? What is that? I've never heard about that before. It is inflammation of the pharynx, which is in the back of the throat. Do you understand? Yeah, I can understand the problem of the throat, but what about the stomachache? Well, sometimes it happens that an infection can affect other parts of the body. Oh, God. I hope it isn't anything serious. I can't stop working. In the worst case we will need to operate, but it is not dangerous. Don't worry. Okay, doctor. Then, what do I need to do now in order to get better soon?
I will give you an order to do this exam and then we'll see the results next week. Thank you, doctor. I will wait then until the results are ready to know. Yes. Go pass with my assistant, please. And that's it for today.